And in this shed I keep my parts machines for those interested. Um, I should turn the light on just a second. There you go. Um, these three machines, this is a Skywriter. Um, this is the older version of that, it's a Zephyr. And this is a Letra 22. These three machines I use mainly for parts. I haven't touched this one yet, or that one. Oh, and I forgot, there's another one in here as well, maybe, or just the body. I'm not too sure, let me have a look. Yeah, there's another machine in there, that's a, a Brother Echelon 77. Oh my god, the smell of that thing is terrible. Uh, it spent a week on the bottom of a Waterfield tub where I bought it. Or actually got it for 25 cents. I went there, I think, three years ago now. There's still some footage of me cleaning it. Um, and the machine apparently um, spent five days on the bottom of a big barrel that was filled with water. And I just happened to walk by. Um, and just a glance and I see this on like I had to look good because it was dirty brown water and I saw this machine sitting on the bottom I was like what is that doing on it was gross it was nasty um, so I took it home turned out um, it's pretty much useless because um, I cleaned it that day which the footage of it is still on YouTube but it turned out the machine was actually damaged badly by the water um, I just put this aside here. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look inside because I haven't even looked at this thing for such a long time. Um, I removed the escapement because I had um, the I got I received from the same store the exact same typewriter, um, where which was came with the paperwork and of course the case in way better shape because this is also destroyed. Um, and I gave that machine to my mother, but the um, nut to the escapement had broken off, so the carriage would just move freely. So what I did, I well, I had this machine, but the, the escapement on this was still good, which is one of the very few parts on this thing that are still good. And I removed it and I replaced it with the one on my, the machine that I gave to my mother, so that one has a good escapement now. As you can see, this one doesn't. This one doesn't have any escapement at all. I had to remove it. Let's see if I can remove the cover. This thing is disgusting. You can probably not see it, but there's like a load of dirt and dust on top. And it's nasty. Come to think of it, there isn't much good parts on this thing anymore, so I don't know why I still keep it. Um, yeah, this thing smells bad. This one is pretty much dead. Um, it has rust spotting. Um, and the water's gotten into the system, so as you can see, the keys all jam up. I tried oh, like it's ridiculous. There's so, um, I tried oiling it with sewing machine oil. I tried cleaning it out. The keys just won't cooperate that well. It just keeps sticking. This thing smells of mold. I think it actually is growing in there. It's disgusting. Um, no, it's no mold. It's just it. You, you still smell the water from three years ago when it's it's it's. This doesn't smell good. The case also is gross. Um, but anyway, even these nasty, destroyed typewriters still have some good parts. For instance, if I have a broken key on one, on a brother, for instance, that has the same type basket, I could just remove the key. I had a Royal HH that I got, God, how long ago now? I think it was one of the first machines I bought. It was 2010, maybe even. I uh, started, I got my Underwood Type Master in 2009. Yes, in December of 2009, I got my Underwood Type Master. And um, I think then I got an electric Smith Krona 250 electric. Yeah. Uh, there's a video of that, or maybe not anymore. I can't even remember. Um, such a long time ago. No, I think of it. It was on my old Dirk Davy account, which I had from 2008 until 2009. But uh, that, well, that's a long story. It's such a long time ago. But I was in 2012 when I accidentally um, closed that account off, which I didn't mean to do. And then after that, my third or fourth machine, I did a really bad buy. I spent $25 on a Royal HH, which in first case is really high price for an unrestored machine and then when I got it, it turned out the escapement was also pretty destroyed somebody actually whacked the machine from 
um, this side of the carriage so hard the escapement broke off on the inside don't know how it happened probably what dropped with the carriage to that side so it destroyed the escapement and I couldn't get it fixed the carriage return lever lever had broken off so that didn't work anymore and I spent $25 on that which I understood was a bit pretty pretty bad deal um, so what I did is I used that machine that ended up on this shelf um, and then I got another Royal HH from the recycling depot for 25 cents and I used that up to 2012 or no 13 when the A key broke off so not here but the actual striker broke off um, I replaced I took the A striker from the parts machine that I bought for $25 and stuck it on the one that I bought for 25 cents so that one I still have um, if I, I don't have the one from $25 anymore um, I stripped that clean off and everything else was pretty much destroyed because of the fall um, but over the time I got some new ones for instance this one is the Lightro 22 that I got about four or five months ago there's still some footage of that on YouTube um, well actually this the body comes from that machine from that machine in the so this comes from that machine in those uh, series videos where I sit in the laundry room, room and I clean the machine and I fix it and the uh, mechanism in the actual typewriter comes from a typewriter that I got for two dollars at a thrift store out of town um, I got well this came actually from the typewriter that I got from a friend um, this belonged to her father and um, she wanted me to restore but I found out that this machine actually also had been dropped um, as you can see because it's all bent out of shape and this is cracked but the machine was still good so I, repl I switched the body um, with the one I got for two bucks which is this one which isn't that good because the carriage is loose um, and the tight basket is uneven um, so now she has a good machine that's blue and I still have the body parts for um, this for her machine. For instance, this is a good part. It's a good lid. If I have a missing lid or something like that, I have a good lid. Just have to get the decal for it. And there's a good tape, uh, paper table on there with both paper supports. Uh, the strikers are still good. I still have both nuts, which tend to get lost very easily. This one, in fact, is almost off, so I have to screw that back on. But you know, those parts are still good, and that's why I keep these machines. Um, that one is pretty rough well it's not rough but it's used a lot used too much really um, so it's worn down that one's also these one are known for really to be really bad so um, anyway that's the story on my parts machines I hope this helped and you enjoyed watching this thank you for watching bye bye